Um, my name is Maya Sebastian and I play Kaz. I could play another character, probably play Kaz, because she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like her vibe, she's a sick character. On the outside, she's like aggressive and like puts herself out there. I guess she kind of seems quite cold towards all the characters at the beginning. What are you doing out here? Just go back to playgroup. Are you running away? What's it to you? Oh, oh. Yeah, she is a rebel. She, can, she um, must be the rebel. Immediately you identify her as the I rebel. Think she ends up in your office quite early on, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah, in trouble. You may want to be someplace else, Kaz, but we like having you here. So you take away our phones? Which means there's nothing to distract you from forming new relationships. What's lovely is the story arcs that you end up finding out why she's the way she is. It's not, as with everyone, it's not just because she's a grumpy teenager, it's because there's been a lot of history in the past. My foster parents, they're probably on a beach somewhere. Like you said, she doesn't trust people very often. You know, I think um, she finds it hard to open up to people. But then she definitely warms up yeah. to each and every one of them. Like, she opens up. Yeah, she's movie. not quick to trust anyone. Nah. That's for sure. And she's definitely set in her ways. If she wants something, she'll try her hardest to get it. Everyone has a great character progression, and I think she is one that definitely is, is prominent in the show. Four kids disappeared in these woods 23 years ago, never to be seen again. I don't think Kaz trusts B quite a lot, um, so I think B just kind of brushes off that Kaz doesn't particularly like her. What's with this? I got some numbers we can try. People that might help us. Unbelievable! This is why you came back here. What's with this? I got some numbers we can try. People that might help us. You're unbelievable. This is why you came back here. So Kaz was also a tricky character to cast because she has this brittle shell, if you like. She can be quite aggressive, quite sharp, but crucially underneath it, there is someone who's quite vulnerable. And Maya, I think, instinctively brought both those qualities to, to the mix right from the beginning. She was brilliant. Cut. Thank you. Cut. We're very different, but in ways we are similar. I think we're different because Kaz doesn't like to be paid attention to, whereas I do. Um, but I think we're similar in the aspect where Kaz is she's quite sarcastic and she's like kind of mean to the people she likes and I think I do that as well. If you can't be nice just say the opposite of what you actually think. Okay uh, you're mature for your age, you're fun to be around and your breath smells amazing. Her look was very specific because she had this t-shirt that was really key to the whole show and to her um, her character plot through the show. Take that off! I didn't mean to. I don't care, it's not yours, you don't just take other people's things. So that t-shirt was what we built the whole look around and it's her Feral Flowers band logo t-shirt. So that was the key piece that everything then was hung off the back of. Great. I think this hair suits Kaz so much. We tried curly, we tried blonder, we tried a sort of lilac, like a light purple. Sort of like a, like a pinky sort of colour and they decided it wasn't bold enough. So then we came to this colour and... And they loved the strong. I think it, because Kaz, obviously I don't think she finds it easy to express herself, but she can express herself through her clothes and her hair and her makeup, and I think that's a really cool thing. She was completely natural in, in the kind of energy and, and what she brought to the role, so she felt very real. She was never forcing it one way or another. Her character is fantastic to be admired. A great example of somebody who isn't defined by their hearing loss and basically is able to just, you know, embrace it and join in and, uh, and almost have it as a, as a power in, in a way. Are you reading lips? I can understand you fine. Do you know, if you mouth olive juice, it looks like you're saying I love you. My mum used to do it when I was little. You still are little. A lot of the things she's done is fueled more by insecurity or problems with stuff at home. You just see a different side to her by the end. I think nobody is what they seem at the beginning. She's a very feisty character. Um, We're she talking knows about you. I yeah. agree. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what she wants. Um, she gets what she wants. Um, but I think she's secretly deep down, she's a very kind and caring person. She just doesn't show it. No. <laughs> no. Did you enjoy this video? Then hit subscribe and watch another video coming next.